automators. Today we are going to look at the combination of two amazing tools that will make everyone's life easier if you use high level and N8N. Today we're going to look at the high level MCP server that just came out uh, about two weeks ago. It is crazy cool. And we're going to look at how we can use that MCP server in N8N. Now, if you're not familiar, an MCP server is a standardized secure protocol that allows AI agents to read and write data, in this case with Go High Level, without needing SDKs or special integrations. We can have it set up in a matter of minutes. Super easy. Props to the high level uh, development team on this. It works really great. What does it give you? Let's take a look at that. Top 21 tools. So these are the 21 tools that are used the most in Go High Level. And it puts all of these tools in one place so that your AI can review them, understand them, and do the work for you. Now we're going to be working right down here how to set up an MCP server. This is made for something like uh, VS code or cursor, one of the IDEs. They're working on a Claude desktop integration, but we want to use it in N8N, but we do need this information. Now there are two caveats. You do need a Go high level sub account, and you will also need, need this private integration token, which comes from that Go high level. If you are interested in using AI and automation to grow your small business, your solo business, your brand. My community is dedicated to helping small businesses use the technology that will make a difference. Financially, growth, time, more time at home with your family, your friends, less time doing the boring stuff. And we're talking about social media, content writing, uh, onboarding, things like that, adding contacts from one website forum to a go high level so that you can put them on a drip and a newsletter and giving them access to a form. These are the kind of automations that we work with. If you're a member of my community, I do give you a free sub account to go high level. So everything we're doing today would work on that just fine. Additionally, you can use it for everything. It's a full account. We do provide new snapshots each month. We look at our users. If you have a specific need, we'll be more than happy to try to help you find the tools and use the tools. So we're really interested in doers, those that want to do so that they can avoid doing more so they have more time coming back to them. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description. Please note though that everything in this video will either be provided or will work with any account that you have. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is go to high level and notice this is just a, a brand new test account with dummy data included. And what we need to do is scroll down here to the settings, scroll down again until you see right here, private integrations. Now private integrations, this is not complicated, but there are some details. So first we need to create a new integration. I'm going to call this N8N, and then I'm going to use, uh, this is AAE MCP, all right? You can add a description if you like. It's for your own benefit. Next are the scopes. Now scopes are privileges that the tool, or in this case, the MCP, can have access or permission to use. And this one takes a couple of steps. So let's take a look at it. Come back over here to go high level support. This link will also be in the description. And what we need to do is scroll down right here, required scopes. So each one of these is a scope that we need. So we need view contacts, edit contacts, view conversations, edit conversations, etc. There are a couple of tricky ones here. So view calendars and view calendar events. Okay, so it's not real clear right here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. In fact, we're going to do this one right here and we'll do contacts and then I'll pause the video so you don't have to watch me do it a bunch of times. So let's do it. Uh, let's make sure. So we need view calendar and view calendar events. So if we just type in a unique word, in this case, calendar, so view calendars. And then if we type in calendar again, we should see view calendar events. So we'll click that one. 
We also need contacts. So if we view contacts, type in contact again, edit contacts, etc. Going down each one of those one at a time. Here, they've all been added. I'll leave this for just a second so that you can double check yours. You can also just take a screenshot of it and off to the side, click create. And now we have this key. This key is very important to keep private. You'll only see it one time and you want to, when we need it, we're going to click copy. I'm going to really uh, delete this when we're done. So it's not that important, but for you, this is the key to your house. So do not share this. And you only get to see it once. If you need it again, you have to regenerate and cancel your key and get a new one. You want to make sure that you use it and that it's done correctly. So we're going to go to workflows in N8N and we're going to create a new workflow. Now there are a couple of ways we can set this up. I'm going to set this up the easiest way and then I'll give you a couple of examples how you can modify it afterwards. So we're going to just create a chat and we want this chat trigger right here and I'm going to move this and next thing we need is an agent and you just type in agent over here if you're unsure of where this is at this plus sign right up here will give it to you I think you can also do a tab as well and that's where that's at or hitting one of these plus signs depending on where it's at will open it up in a specific place for you we also need a chat model and in this example I'm just going to use uh, open AI chat model. You do have to create an account um, if you don't have one, but they have a, most of the AI tools. So whichever one you're comfortable with will work just fine. The next thing we need to do is pick the model. I'm going to use 4.1 mini and just close that. And right now we should be able to get some interaction from this. And so we saw that the chat started, went to the agent, went to the AI, and we have the response, hello, and how can I assist you today? So that's pretty simple. If you built anything, especially any AI agents, you know that quite well. This is where we're going to do the MCP server for high level. Make sure you come over here to the end, tool, click on tool, and we need the MCP client tool. If you have community, do not use the community MCP tool. Make sure you use this one right here that has model context protocol and that it's blue. So this is the one you want and click on it and you will see this here. We have an endpoint server transport authentication and tools. If you do not see server transport, then that means that you're in 8 in instance needs to be updated because this just came out a couple three days ago so make sure that you update to the latest version and then you should see server transport all right come back over here to our docs and we want right here inside of here you'll see the url and we're going to copy the url but not the quotes copy that and we're going to come back over here and we're going to paste under server transport, we want HTTP streamable. Authentication, we want header auth. And then you should see a credential. And to create your credential, come over here to the down drop and say create new credential. Now here, you're going to need to name it and that is right here. So we are building this header we need the header here, and then we need this bearer, B-E-A-R-E-R -E -E space and our token. I'll show you what that does. So we're gonna say authorization here, and then come right down in here, and here's a nice little hack. Instead of, because this is common to, you know, start out, you can't see it. Come right over here and move this to expression, then you can see it. Bearer now will come and grab our token, copy, and paste it right here. Then we can move this back to fixed so it stays secure. Also, we want to come right here and just click on this and rename it. So this is AAE test demo. I always recommend in your credentials that you make sure that you list the account that it's connected to, especially on things like social media where you may have several accounts. Make sure you put the name here so you don't have to set and chase it all over the place. 
Okay, and this is MCP. I'm going to save this and close. The next thing we have is this tools to include. And notice we have all select and all accept. To see if your MCP is working, click on selected. And if you see tools to, inclect, to include and select, here are all the 21 tools. Perfect. I'm going to move this back to all because I want everything to have access. I'm going to close this and I'm going to move this right here. Now, if we come back to our chat, I can say, what tools do I have access to? Right? So notice that it went to the AI and now we're getting this spin and notice down here, calendars, contacts, these are all of the tools, but we want to make this job a little bit easier. And to do that, we can come right over here to AI agent and scroll down to add an option system message. And we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to say you are a helpful MCP server assistant working on location. And the location is our, our sub account location. And to get that, you will come back over to your go high level. I'm going to close this. Once this is closed, you're going to go to business profile. And business profile is going to have the general information. And right here is your location ID. So just copy this, go back here and add this. This will help the AI know what property which sub account they're looking for. So I'm gonna close that. And now let's have a little bit more conversation real quick. How many, let's see, tell me the names of the contacts. All right, so notice the AI is working, went to MCP, came back, and now we have the following contacts. Excellent. Can you give me the phone number for Taylor? The phone number for Taylor Reynolds is Great, right? Let's add a new contact for Fred Johnson. Email, I don't know, we're gonna say Fred at johnson.com. Phone number, I'm just gonna make up some stuff. And include tag of test demo, okay? So the new contact has been, let's go check. So we'll go back over to high level. We will go back and go to contacts. And now let's refresh. Fred Johnson, there's our tag, all of our information. How cool is that? Now, this is where it gets really impressive. If we go back to our flow here, we can remove this and put a telegram chat. If you're not familiar how to set that up, we have a video that walks you through step by step. And the only thing you would do is add MCP client to your Telegram. So then you can use Telegram. You want to make a real time chat for your users, same basic structure. You want to have a form. Perhaps you want to use a form where you gather information. We could do that. We could say, come over here again and say form. And oh, we want the form trigger. Okay, so make sure we do that to begin with. So we'd say, here's our form trigger. We give it a name, test, we could have our information here and we would plug that form into here and we can make that form public. We can gather onboarding information that is powered so we can ask a lot of questions and they can give the information. It'll update there, go high level. We can also then have emails that follow this or uh, we can even respond to form. If we look at our form, for instance, we can even say next form or form ending. If we provide an ending, what do we want? Show completion, redirect, right? So we can redirect them to the next thing that we want. We can show text, we can return a picture or a video. All of these things are available from this platform. And this platform consists of this right here. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, happy automating. Hope to see you around. Take care.